let's call Byron's age B, and that is, in other words, it's equal to three years more than Doug's age, which we'll call D. So we're going to have three plus Doug's age. The product of their ages is B times D is equal sign 40. How old is Doug? Is the same thing as asking what is D? Well, let's replace B by 3 plus D. That's what we got over there. And then we still keep D and it's still equal to 40. 3 plus D times D is equal to 40. If we change this so it's in the form of a quadratic, we have to first do D times 3, and that gives us 3D, and then D times D, and that gives us D squared. So 3D plus D squared is equal to 40. Then, if we want to get this in the form of a quadratic, we got to subtract 40 from both sides, and you get a minus 40 on the other side. On the right side, you get 0. And I'm going to write the D squared first, so then I'm going to write D squared plus 3D minus the 40 and that's equal to zero. Well, that's what you always want to do when you have a quadratic. You want to set one side equal to zero, but once you do, you factor the other side. And we need two numbers that multiply together to give us negative 40. Well, one has to be positive, one has to be negative, because we're getting a negative result. Positive times negative is the only way to do it. But then, we got to make sure that those two numbers add up together to give us three. So they always multiply together to give you the last number, and add together to give you the middle number. So 8 times negative 5 gives you negative 40. 8 plus a negative 5 gives you 3. So now that we've got a factor is d plus 8 times d minus 5, use the formula that whenever you have something in the form of a times b is equal to 0, all you do is you set a equal to 0, and you set b equal to 0, and you say it's either one of these. So you say a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. So a in this case is d plus 8, so d plus 8 is equal to 0, or d minus 5 is equal to 0. Well, then you solve each of those for d, and on this one you get d is equal to negative 8 by subtracting 8 from both sides. On this one you add 5 to both sides, and you get d is equal to 5. And you could check to make sure that that works by putting d is equal to 5 back in here, and 5 minus 5 is 0, it doesn't even matter that 5 plus 8 over here is 13. Because anything times 0 is equal to 0. So d is equal to 5 definitely works. In fact, you could plug in d is equal to negative 8 as well. And that will also come out to 0 because you get 0 for negative 8 plus 8. And it doesn't even matter that this comes out to negative 13, because 0 times anything is 0. So that checks both of our answers, but Doug ain't no negative 8 years old.